This is called a VCR, or a video cassette recorder. With it, we can replay pre-recorded footage. So, we have some emergency tapes that we've made up exactly for this scenario. So, let's go ahead and see what is on these tapes. And, as I said earlier, if Caleb and Will do show up, we'll put them right on. But in the meantime, let's take a look and see what's on these. Hello there, and welcome to Behind the Camera. I'm James Copeland, the executive producer of the Low Budget Late Show, and this is our backstage crew. Why don't we go around and introduce ourselves? My name's Reed. And Reed is a camera operator. How about you? I'm Haley, and I write things on cards. Very good, Haley. And what are you doing here? Um, I'm Shady, and this is my first day. I'm the lifeguard here. Shady also holds cords. I do. So, very talented. television can be a very confusing thing. So, we're here to answer some questions from our viewers about television. The first question is, why are TV cameras so big? Well, have you ever watched television? There are little people on it, and they're like that big. So, to take a full-grown person and put them into the camera, they have to get smaller, you know? It's very complicated. So, so they can fit in your TV set. So, there's a lot of things inside there to make you smaller. That's why TV cameras are so big. What's the next question? <laughs> Moving on. Why do people watch television? Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe you can answer that, Haley. Well, sometimes when people get really old, they get really bored. Mm. So mm. they will go out and buy a TV mm -hmm. and sit mm -hmm. there and watch the TV. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very good mm -hmm. activity. Amen. Can you explain Quiet. that? Quiet. Thank you. That's a, that's a very, very good explanation, <laughs> good. I would say. Yes. Good. Very good. Uh, what's the third question? Why are some TV square and some are rectangular? Reed, can you answer that question? Speak up. We can't hear you. Louder. All right. What I think Reed is trying to say is that sometimes manufacturers of televisions are weird and they have weird parts that come from China and so they have to make them different sizes because they get different parts. That mm. makes sense. Yes. So much sense. So for the next part of our show, we're going to talk about some television faux pas. Faux pas means something that you shouldn't do. Let's look at the first one. First rule of television is to not look at the monitor where your face is being streamed. Because then you're just going to look dumb and like you don't know what you're doing. Wow. So don't do that. Hey, look, I'm on TV. Hey. Hey, me too. Wow. It's rule number two, James. Well, rule number two, I'll let Haley read. Okay. Do not look at the lights. Hmm. I wonder why. Well, you could go blind. Okay. It's right there. I All think. right. Uh, one, three, the third one. All right. Rule number three is don't text or take personal calls because that's very unprofessional on set, and that's something you. Re um. I'm really sorry. Hello. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Well. All right. Um. Let's see. Uh, another rule that's good to follow in television is uh, it's a good idea not to play with props or costumes that are not yours, because that's very bad practice, because the... Oh, wow. Is that real? Yeah, I found it back there. Yeah, Back there? Yeah. We have things like that back there? Yeah. All right. Uh, another... How about you read that one, Reed? Don't forget to speak loudly. Look at, look at the audience. Speak. speak loudly. What? I can't hear you. Speak loudly. Okay, I think... Okay, all right, whatever. Um, 
And now another thing that's very important is that you should know how to end the t TV show and get to commercial or um, to finish the segment. So it's a very good thing to know how to end whatever you're doing. Smoothly. Smoothly.